Hundreds of inmates at the Cook County Jail now fighting to be released while they await trial. 141 detainees have tested positive for COVID-19, and that number is growing by the day. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey spent the last two days in court tracking who is being released. And Megan, judges are in a very difficult position now. Right, Brad and Erica, essentially they have to weigh serious health concerns versus concerns about public safety. And the cases that have come up from, for consideration range from low-level felonies to violent habitual offenders. It's become a familiar sight at the Cook County Jail as an ambulance is loaded up outside the building. Almost everyone walking in and out, shielded with masks and gloves. COVID-19 cases are multiplying in the jail, which now houses 830 fewer detainees since the beginning of the stay-at-home order. Hundreds due to coronavirus concerns. Attorney Shay Allen hopes his client will be one of them. He has expressed um, concern, uh, not only about uh, the pandemic itself, but just about the living conditions in the jail. His 20-year-old client, Alexis Sanchez, has chronic asthma and emphysema. But he's also facing two felony charges for reckless discharge of a gun and trying to fake a drug test. Is he going to be good? Is he going to, you know, toe the line if they let him out? The, my client, he's immature, um, but he's not, uh, I wouldn't call him from my experience, you know, a danger. Today, a Cook County judge agreed with Allen's argument to an extent, moving from no bond to $7,500. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office says his is one of more than 1,000 cases that they've reviewed, and they've recommended hundreds for release. But today, neither the State's Attorney's Office nor the Sheriff's Department can give us an exact number of who had their bonds reduced due to COVID-19 concerns. Yesterday, two offenders facing Class X felonies with long histories of weapons charges were denied release. Bill was denied for another man in isolation with a fever because he had a history of sexually abusing young women. Ultimately, Allen believes these unprecedented times deserve special considerations. In my opinion, if you're not going to uh, have give them an opportunity to get out, you might be sentencing that person to death. Now, we did submit a Freedom of Information Act request for a list of those detainees who were released due to these COVID-19 precautions. So far, we have not gotten a response. So, Megan, we know the county hasn't been able to provide that full list, even though you've specifically asked for it. But what estimates are you hearing about the number of detainees? Right, Erica, so the Public Defender's Office says that during a four-day period last week, 651 adults and 22 juveniles were released so easily that total could be closer to 750 or 800 people. Live at the Cook County Department of Corrections, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Megan, thank you.